Hey guys, Sushi Kawaza here, and welcome back to another video in our series, part three. And this time we're doing Warriors and Healers. And as always, with every single video we've done in this rated series, we've got my good friend Tex helping us out again. Thanks for joining me again, Tex. Yeah, no, pleasure to be back again. Always uh, enjoy having a little chat and talk game shop with you. Yeah, so we've covered so, so much. Covered every bot on offense, covered every bot uh, on defense pretty much now. <clears throat> looking at cores next so we've got loads to go through guys so don't forget if you want to check out this content and see it best way is to subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you a penny guys just gives you notifications on when i do these videos so the next video in the series if you enjoy these videos the next one me and text do you'll get a notification when it's live and you'll get to see it first off the bat but let's get straight into this uh category interesting category i think we're gonna have some good bots in here we've talked previously about hp being an issue uh with a lot of outpost bots and i think with warriors we just won't have this issue nope. you know most warriors have got good hp so starting straight off we've got sludge and straxus <sighs> unfortunately awful. bad awful, bad or bad. awful oh, that, no, you know walls. what yeah look it is gonna be awful isn't it because the uh the SA just does nothing really to mm. any of the opposite attackers. Yeah, it's just <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I don't the think DPS. you can simply just say, "Oh, because he's got loads of health, then he can't be awful." You know, if the SA does literally hardly nothing, then that's the vice opposite. If you could have a bot that is an amazing SA but has zero health, then it's going to be hard to put them in a. You know, I mean, okay, you got small screen, I suppose, but do you know what I mean? But uh, there are the exceptions. There are exceptions, but I just think that it does literally nothing. So, uh, rook and blot. Yeah, look, I think this is uh, I almost a borderline godly because it's a highly used outpost in the top levels. Um, I think it's got to be godly. Yeah. I mean, I put my mine's got I've got I've got rook in my outpost right now. You know, the HP is ridiculous. Ridiculous, you know, thirty yes. odd k plus sixty percent. You're talking forty five k, you know, HP in an outpost, yeah. which is stupid. You know, plus your explosion and the damage from the explosion as well. So crazy right. amount of you know HP and, and damage as well. And you can't negate it, right? The, exactly, the hologram yeah. just the hologram is just going to stay there. So yeah, honestly, this is yeah, godly for sure. Yes, if you're running a time trap, this guy's got to be in there. I think got to. It's not a question. Should yeah. we uh, throw his girlfriend next to him, or does RC go in godly though? Mm. On they, defense, thing with... on offense, on... they're very, very similar in match, different reasons. Mm. But on defense, I don't, I don't think she's quite as godly, you know. No, I, I, I would probably agree. Pro probably sitting in the in the high end of good. I mean, obviously yeah. the stun, the stun for, you know, post death of the hologram, like it's, it is gonna stun you a bit, but obviously. The rook explosion in, in in this factor, it's defense. We're taking a big chunk of health away immediately from a certain amount of bots, right? Like on on the flip side, when we're talking attack, very similar, you know, because obviously, like you know, you can't really can't really one shot with rook, but like with RC, you can stun it, allow a team to come up. But when it comes to the defense side of things, uh. Yeah, the stun might not be as effective as a rook explosion. Hmm. And so, can we tie sort of Dinobot and Dinobot two into this? Do they go in the godly section? Mm -hmm. Good. I think we've uh, I've had a lot of feedback from people uh, who have been trialing the five star Dinobot because obviously that's a, a recent release in the batches and stuff like that. They they expected a lot more. Um, and, and, and we spoke about core choices, you know, like because of the the bonus from healing. So, you know, do you run Micronus? Do you run a, a Rejuvenate on him? And then, you know, you can pack heal and stuff like that. I wasn't overly overwhelmed with their results. And I think it's just going to stay at good. Okay. Um, solid. Like, obviously, three holograms doing damage, you know, Pretty decent health, pretty decent DPS, effective. Um, definitely an outpost you'd have to pay attention to, um, but not be scared of. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, 
I expect a lot. Mine's already a low, uh, low fifties at the minute. I'm leveling up, but I do expect a lot when he's leveled up. So, but again, you've got a bit more experience than me at a top level at the minute. So I'll take your word for it. But um, I'm surprised. I thought it'd be a lot better. Yeah, I, I thought I it'd be a very, too, very good comparison to Rook. I thought. Mm. But, hmm. Interesting. But off that straight away, do we say then? The, pretty much looking back at previous videos without giving too much away, you know, Blaster and Noah were rated very highly. All three of the hollows uh, are rated highly here. Do we say, sort of going forward, that any bot really that has minions or hollows is going to be rated highly on defense? Uh, yeah, I think so because it, it's, no, it's a no brainer. You're adding more defense bodies, right? It's like throwing the companion combats on them just to add another body, right? It's, you know, mm. we don't like Dial, but it's a body, right? We don't like Night Stalker, it's a body, you know? But now we're starting to see other things. So look at Trip Up, for example. You put Trip Up on Dinobot with three healing, plus my Cronus, plus Trip Up's 25% speed up. It sounds like it's getting a bit deadly of a combination. Like, you should really be... Probably, perhaps we're still not exposed enough or we haven't learnt that level of effectiveness to use Dinobot yet, you know? On on the paper, yeah. it looks great stat-wise. We just haven't put it into play, I think, um, as well as probably could be at the moment. So that's that's why I think it's sitting in good and we're not seeing it in every outpost yet. And next up, we've got Hotspot and Tantrum. So, yeah, it's uh, rushing bots, but obviously they've got the shield that reflects. So, this, what do we think about these guys? This reminds me of like when uh, the whole mind swipe situation. Uh, when when you were leveling with Cheetah, and you came across the Hotspot, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, annoying. Yeah, right. Uh, look, I I think. Back then, obviously, wasn't a five star, so we have a lot more health. I mean, look, all of these bots we can't even talk about health because they're all going to tick that box immediately, right? Um, yeah. I think pretty good option, a uh, hotspot because the G1 core gives a permanent reflect, places a nitro reflect. You know, depending on you have to be careful, like, if you obviously you're not going to probably try to smoke screen him, but it's like kind of got to be careful with the reflect these days at the high levels because mm. you could be reflecting back a lot of damage without even knowing about it. So we think good then? Yeah, I think I think it's a solid round bot. I mean, not re like lower end good because it's not even remotely thought to be godly or, or whatnot. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just a solid tank. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, yeah a good option again for lower players who don't have many of the options. Yeah, still a good player. Very HQ sixteen bot. Yeah, but still slightly relevant. You know, there's better bots been that come out since. So, yeah. And then we've got every every fan's <laughs> favorite nose cone and drill horn. I think we can just straight away just say let's put him right back there with a uh, Straxus and a uh, Sludge. How rude! You didn't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tex, what do you think? No, you made the right call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, and next we've got Jumpstream and Scrapper. Oh, oh. So very similar to Hotspot in a way. Doesn't have the reflect though, just as a shield. Yeah, I, I think bad because it's yeah. it's a working ability, uh, just not as effective of an ability, right? So for the same reason, pipes exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same reason. Like, look, we we saw this a lot of warriors. Like sometimes I hate it when when I see a new warrior pop up on a as a new bot coming out, I'm like, oh, another rush bot? Okay. It's like mm. it's like Warriors just all rush, right? Um, yeah. And it's it's hard because we know that their greatest weakness is an FFD, right? On attack. You know, like, they're great. They all rush, have some sort of shield, and then, you know, they can be long-standing for a long time with no FFDs around because you, you know, absorbing all this um, attack, blah, blah. But on a defense side of thing, um, you know, you're not having to worry about FFDs, right? So they can take a lot of uh, the damage absorption, um, but outside that, eh, 
very low DPS as a balance factor. Not very deadly. Um, I don't think I'd be ever worried about if I saw a, a jump, a, a pipes, you know, pop out. So, yeah, unfortunately, that, that their abilities work and they're not, you know, you can't really, no need to negate it. It's just, just a bad bot for defense overall. Yeah, I think like we said earlier, all these bots are kind of viable because of their health. Mm. But it's not, you know, again, if you're using a time trap, you can put these in and that's okay, that's fine. But it's bots that do that extra bit that we're looking for, like Rook. It's not just his, his HP. He's got extra HP. So for a time trap, it's even better. And he's got that damage explosion. So he's got that bit extra. You want someone that's not just got his, his health. Something else is going to slow people down. And if he's got that something extra as well, then yeah, it's going to go through the roof. Um, and I think that makes a lot of difference. You know, again, the shield does give him a, a bit extra health in a way to slow people down. But like you said, other than using a speed up, you don't have to wait to pop pipes to think, oh, I need to use a speed up now. You just need yeah, to think, no. listen, he's got some high, H some high HP bots. I need to speed my bots up during the attack. But you could do that at any point you want. There's no rush for it when pipes, you know, jumps out. Output, yeah, that's so. right. Yeah. Uh, so let's carry on with the rush bots. So it's obviously a big class. So side swipe and off road. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's um. The only difference for these guys, obviously, they can hold a trench foot combat mm. or um caliber burst for the cons. Um, yeah. You know, the glass rush is decent enough. Uh, the thing is, if he rushes out of the outposts. He's kind of he's laying that glass on the way to hitting your bots. So mm. the the essay is kind of wasted, and so basically we're just left with DPS and health. Uh, for me, I actually think he's awful. Mm, probably, yeah, I probably agree. There. I mean, it's it's only because the essay is not even remotely uh, useful. So. No, I agree. Uh, again, sticking with the rush bots then. Let's crack on with them. Uh, Goldfire and Ramjet. Um, no, I'm going to go with Awful on this, only because, yeah. same thing, we're, we're doing damage on the way to the target. Now, Goldfire doesn't have that high health when it comes yeah. to the warrior class in general. It's sort of, I mean, it's a warrior, warrior slash special kind of in a way right We're obviously big for the sack users good range but flip on defense yeah he doesn't tick the health box his his attack isn't doing major damage to you so yeah it's kind of self-explanatory that one mm. iron hide and bludgeon same awful no look i think bad so you look at so their their ability got changed from how they originally got released um, to this EMP kind of charge. So the final target does take that EMP hit. Um, so it's it's a crap ability, but overall health, the ability works. So it's just bad. Just It's sad, so I'm not saying though. That it's just one target rushing to. It's, be, it's it. because it's, it's only because of the, the end of target hit doesn't do as well compared to like if you're with an EMP you can stun on hit whereas the glass you know it's very very hit and miss because obviously you, you're, you're all your troops would have to be under attack then get hit with side swipe mm. to apply that glass effect so very much too many things required to make him seem effective let alone get out of the awful category slug and rampage I think that is awful because it's a fire rush. So we're not, we're so, we are doing that damage on the way to the target, but there's no real major impact um, to make you even remotely concerned if you just saw this, this bot charge at you. And so we can put Pyromagna, Bone Crusher. Yeah, it's pretty much exactly, exactly the same. Yeah. yeah, they need to change that really. They need to make it so they are different. They're too similar. But they change all the rest, oh, yeah. and then you know. I, I think one's female, one's male. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough difference. That's fine. Um, drift and barricade. 
Mm. I mean, awful lot bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say bad because um, his G1 core obviously keeps him a lot more alive these days. The thing I hate about Drift is, is him, him and Star Saber can't hold as many combats because they're stupid mm. swords and all that mumbo jumbo. But I don't know. I, just, I still find that hard to believe that programmers can't yeah. adjust that. Sure, they take the visual away. Give them the give them the right to use it. Take the visual away. Is that such a travesty? I, I don't know. But again, uh, we're not programmers, uh, so uh, uh, yeah, above my pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Trailbreaker and exhaust. No, that's just awful. Yeah. <laughs> the shield, the not shield. Bad. Like I said, this guy. I always say it when when this guy comes up had so much potential if the shield yeah. was larger. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, Beast Wars, Ironhide, and Sea Clump. Interesting. So yeah, so this guy, this guy's growing on me. I, I actually like him because obviously uh, the more I'm using Magna Boss, um, and understanding obviously the elephant plays a big part in that stomp and mm. the glass. You know, I'm gonna put him out there kind of on the same tone at the moment as Ironhide. One of those. Okay. Uh, at the end of the rush, makes the impact, creates that glass effect, but it's sort of like. Sideswipe 2.0, right? Because we have it's a glass mm. effect, but it's like a big AOE stomp at the end, which Sideswipe doesn't provide. So it's an upgrade. Um, I reckon this guy, if he gets a five star and SA11, I think he could be actually quite deadly. But you know, mm. I mean, it's like most bots, what we say that, right? Get a five star, get SA11, C- completely changes the way that you thought about them previously. And then they get an R probability 11, and we go, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. it's then, all depends. Then, then, but... then, then was it does a video on him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next up, the brand new bots just come to the game: Twin Twist and Quelagon. I think I pronounce it. Uh, col- oh yeah, col- I don't know collagen or something like that. Collagen, yeah. I don't know. Quelagon, I do. Who knows? That yeah, guy. Knows. Yeah, Twin, twin Twist. Twi- <laughs> twin Twist and another guy, the con. <laughs> Not the anti conist and all that. Like, don't want to get accused yeah, of that again. No. But uh, you know, Twin Twist and the other guy. What do we think? Uh, so, rep- I mine's still, I've been so lazy leveling him, but I know he has amazing potential and I'm putting him in godly. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I would even rate him past godly at the minute. I really would like unbelievable on defense to the point where I wanted to go for him just for defense. And as we know, I don't really prioritize defense spots. But I think this guy is going to be a must-have. I would put him up there with Minerva yes. that high. He's going to be a must-have for defense because he's going to be that good. I really do think that. But yeah, honestly, I put him up there, Rhinox and above that high. If you watched the last mm. video where you saw how much we talked about Rhinox and how good he was, probably the number one outpost bot in the game. Mm. And I think this guy will be up there with him. I yeah. really and, really do. And like Rhinox, we can put the four star in there because the four star is just as good. Yeah. Even the four star will do an amazing job. So yeah, can't speak highly of this guy enough. I was really pleased with the balancing in playtest. Mm. But I actually came in and said this and really well done guys. Really good job. Um yeah, really, really good. It's good to be positive about some bots for change as well. So I'm uh, really pleased with that. Uh, then we've got Lightspeed and Iron Bison. Oh, you just went in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awful? Yes, absolutely. That's just terrible. Yeah, shame. But yeah, this it's guy... Hard, it's hard when, it's, well, it's hard when you're just chasing bots because they're a combiner piece and not because you want to use that bot. Yeah. Well, like I said in the last video, this is around the time of Scattershot, Nose Cone, uh, double dealer when they were very very cautious around their bots and it didn't do well for the game I think uh, no. it put a lot of top players off because all the new bots are pretty awful but we can see here that you know around that time some of the bots releases uh, were quite poor and um, you know I think it just uh, yeah just awful really poor uh, and then really? lastly for the warrior class we've got Inferno and Rodimus Unicronus Mm. Well, obviously, my my favorite character of all time. Um, look, it's unfortunately bad now. Not awful. No, not awful. I mean, obviously, the, the ability does work, right? And it's obviously um, 
it's map wide, right? You're not limited to a certain area. Like we, we discussed in our last video, we were talking about red alert and mm. you know, and okay. So 40% bump for, you know, 10 seconds or whatever, but this is obviously as the game gets onto HQ 18, eventually when it drops or whatever, you know, ha having a 40% attack increase immediately if someone's trying to even the combos and stuff like that, it could be just one of those things that catches you off guard and you don't realize it. I'm not saying it's amazing. It's not good. I just think it needs to be longer. Yes. 10 seconds is not very long. Like, you know, if this is 20 seconds, I'd be like, yeah, this guy's pretty, maybe even good. I think yes. 10 seconds is creeping into bad. 15 starts creeping into good to 20. Again, if we'd but, have had yeah. Chromia, there was 10 seconds. She wouldn't be in the godless section in our previous video. No, nope. you know, and the timing is a big issue. I think that's a good point for playtest uh, to balance that around the time it lasts. That's a big sort of uh, you know. Focus I, yeah, point I think for I think probably fifteen to twenty seconds makes the bot become a defense option. Hmm. Yeah. 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 I agree. You know, not 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 saying you know, the thirty seconds is borderline op like we've yeah. talked about that too right but like it's not because of the counters that you can have but say like an inferno for 15 to 20 seconds because there's no counter except a combiner to you know that's all you could do yeah uh and then lastly like i said we're going through healers but i think we can agree we've talked previously like mm -hmm. i think putting wheeljack ratchet and first aid it's pretty ridiculous. You know, it's a bit of a laughing joke when you sort of see them pop up in an outpost. You're like, oh my God, this guy's bought a healer yeah. in an outpost. <laughs> what an idiot. You know, and again, don't want to call some of my fans idiots putting them healers in outposts, but you've got to think yeah. what the hell you're doing if that's the case. Mm -hmm. But Minerva created something a bit different. She did, yes. Because she heals multiple defenses. Mm. So and the tower she... is, uh, the tower cannot be targetable. So yeah, it was very interesting. I was, this is why I was really intrigued when she came out again because it gives you that defense option. But how good a defense option is it? Do you see her much on defense? Would you? Is she gonna be that good on defense? Or is it just a bit of a one of those where you look and think, yeah, that could be good, but it actually isn't. I think no higher than good, but it's because obviously we we have so many much better options from an attacking point of view trying to kill right but i think as a game gets higher like obviously the hp of things are ha because things are gone away from one shot uh category this option of having a healing tower heal like ten thousand, you know within 10 seconds can play a bit more factor as we move along because we're not clearing a defense in one shot. And it takes multiple essays. That takes time. In that time, we have self-repair cores. We have healing build bots. All of a sudden, you throw that her healing tower in the middle of a kill zone. And we spoke about the whole hot rod MDS situation in our last stream. But you add in that factor. You can't mm. stop the healing, right? So it is a conjunction kind of how you set her up, where do you put her, you know, would a sack bot ruin her? Yes. The sack bot would be the counter because obviously the tower pops, but, or would it though, right? If you, you would have to literally let her tower run out mm. and, and, and do zero healing. So have you put yourself on the back step by sitting back for 10 seconds? Just an option, just a solid option that, yeah, I yeah, mean, I, I was sat here at first, and I was sort of thinking of the argument either way. And first, I was like, yeah, the healing tower, untargetable, brilliant. And I think, well, but then she's got real low HP, and she's not going to do much attack-wise. She will heal a bot or heal a defense, but, you know, she's going to take out quite easy. But then I was thinking, yeah, but, you know, if you put that in a sort of kill box area where your bots are, your bots are being healed while they're being attacked. You add in Rook to that, you add in Hotspot to that, Dino bot to that who actually has extra healing as well. Yeah, Those bots yeah. are taking twice as long to die, and then any defenses that are hitting them in the meantime, you're going to try and take out, will probably get self healed. So you add these sort of things in, and yes, it is a bit situational. It depends on where the tower is. But like we talked about hot uh, hot rod in the previous 
stream where if it lands in the right place, that could be devastating. Yeah. Really poor. And then I, and then if it I doesn't, put it striped. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think I think it'd be an injustice to put her in bad. I don't think she's good as in like I don't know. It's I, I think this like hot rod is we need a bit more testing with it. We need to see a bit yeah. more live to really judge it. Absolutely. But I like these. I like these options, right? And mm. and that's what I like about when you make a bot make it available to be used on defense. Yeah. It just makes that bot so much more desirable and used for both attacking and defense. And it just, I don't know. Uh, I, I I enjoy a character more when I can use it more. Yeah. I think we can sort of say as well to Space Ape, please, no more rushing bots. You know, no, they're, they're terrible. They're not very was... good. They're not very good on defense. Let, let, let's... We've got plenty of minions now as well with Blaster and Gnaw and Dinobot and Muck. Let's think a bit more outside the box. Do away with rushing bots. No more holograms, no more minions. Let's try and get a good warrior bot or even a healer. That would get another healer, but you know, that's um you know, that's decent on defense. Put your thinking yeah. cap on. That'd be uh, very interesting to see what they caught with there. But yeah. Well, that's everything rated. So as always, guys, let us know in the comments whether you agree, whether you don't agree, any of these bots you actually use on defense and you think is good. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. Big, huge thank you to Tex for joining me. Much appreciated. Yeah, no dramas. Always been here. Have some fun. Have a chat. And yeah. Get on with it. And uh, come and join me for the rest of these uh, rated videos we've got coming out soon. And I stream every Monday and Thursday. So come and check them out as well, guys. Join me in my streams. But as always, guys, don't forget to hit a like on the video if you liked anything in the video at all. If you like the video, like the content, don't forget to subscribe as well to see all my future content. And I will see you there. I'll see you in my streams. Thanks for joining us. And as always, peace out, guys.